Hello, welcome to Chris and Pan's Garage. Today, uh, we're not going to do a car show, we're going to do a food show. Why a food show? You may think no one cares about your health, but I do. I care about your health. And I think uh, the reason why a lot of people eat out a lot is because they perceive that making food at home is long and expensive. When you go to the supermarket, anytime you buy the good stuff, it's expensive. I make short and inexpensive recipes. So to make the spaghetti sauce, what you're going to need is a pound or a pound and a half of beef. You're going to need two or three cans of this. These are diced tomatoes with herbs and spices. You need one can per half pound of meat. Here, take a look at it. I think we, will that focus? I don't know if that's going to focus. I think it will. I think it will. All right. So three of those, you need cream of mushroom. I don't know, how do they say it? Is it a cream of mushroom? That's how we say it in French. Yep, yeah, cream of mushroom. All right, you need one of these. This you can put on almost anything you cook. It'll increase the taste 10 times. You need some Mexican, or not really Mexican, just chili. I don't know why they put Mexican here. It could be, usually it's not written Mexican. You need some sugar, some garlic, and some oregano. Now you can use a lot more spices, but these spices are more trouble free if you put a little bit too much or not enough. You see what I'm saying? Now salt, that's a tricky spice. It's very hard to get salt right. You know, you put a little bit and ah, it doesn't taste really salty, and then you put a little bit more and ah, it's too salty. I'll let you experiment with that, but these is the basic structure. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do these, um, I'm going to do it on the stove with the camera and I'm going to do like voiceover in the background because I do it in English and in French and it's just easier. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, butter up that, uh, that pot. Alright, you butter it up good. Uh, I wanted to make a few remarks about the spices. Now the spices, uh, you can put always more spices except if you put more spices at the beginning, you if you put too much or too little, you won't be able to really detect it because at one point in time it just smells so many different things and it you don't know really what you're doing. So start simple and work your way up, if I could uh, be more blunt. That's why I chose oregano as a distinct taste, garlic has a distinct taste. You're going to know if you put too much or too little and you're going to know what the problem is, more important. So you put the beef inside like I just did there. Um, that beef, usually like I recommend one pound of ground beef for two cans of diced tomatoes with herbs and spices. I did three now because, well, uh, I had a pound and a half of beef, really. Normally I buy a pound, but now I use a pound and a half. It was a special. So, um, you gotta brown that up, or gray it up at the very least. Now don't, uh, if you're in a rush there, don't do it, all right? Just brown it up, all right? Take the time it takes to brown it up. And the important thing when you're uh, cooking ground beef is to chop it up. You gotta chop it up, chop, chop, chop. You gotta chop it up all the time, all the time, all the time to get the good result. So um, here I am again chopping it up. You see, I, that's, you give it love. That's another form of love. By mincing it well, you're giving it love. And uh, it's important to give your food love. And uh, you can see here I'm not, uh, see, going all the time. I got a nice metal spoon there to make sure I can really separate all that stuff. I think I just turned on the fan there because it's getting a little bit out of control with the steam. There it is. Okay, so when you're browning the, after you're done browning the beef, you're going to stick in the cans of tomato. At this point, your heat is still going to be at high. And once you're done dumping everything in, we'll, you'll put the uh, heat at medium low and let it simmer that's what you want to do you want to let it simmer because right now it's boiling it's going to boil up pretty fast it takes about five minutes when you have it on high so once it starts boiling you're good to go let it simmer about half an hour um forgot to mention that uh, you have to add a can of tomato paste <laughs> so uh, i'm going to show you that like in about five to ten seconds uh, it's important that because you can see it's all liquidy on the side there the tomato paste will kind of kill that, and that's a good thing. So uh, always put in a, oh, uh, there's the cream of mushroom, boom, you stick that in there. That is one of the tastiest things, it already has a lot of salt, so you don't have to put too much salt after that. Um, you're going to see how much salt I put, it's not a lot. And, it, and 
I, I, I've just finished tasting it and it tastes really good. There's the can of tomato paste. Look at that. I don't know. I couldn't. There it is. Tomato paste. Pout de tomate in French. So you stick that in there and uh, you're going to be just fine. Um, I kind of stuck most of it in off camera. So now here I am pretending to put some in there again. <laughs> well, that's pretty cheesy editing. <laughs> But nevertheless, you're going to mix all this gook up. Now, it looks bad, but as it simmers, it will look better with time. All right, so you can see I'm adjusting the temperature there because I often forget. Like sometimes, you know, you put it on high and you kind of forget and then you come back and everything's bubbling. And So as soon as I'm done putting everything in, poof, I put it on uh, low so that way I don't have to worry about it. Look at the oregano. Look how much I put. It's hard to put too much oregano in a sauce. It really is hard to put too much oregano. Uh, in fact, I don't think I even put enough. I should have put maybe a bit more. Look at the garlic. I'm putting a lot of garlic in there. Garlic is one of those spices. If you put too, you, it's hard to put too much. It's just going to be more tasty. You put sugar because sugar is important to kill the acidity of the tomatoes, but also for the gulp down factor. So you know, for example, when you eat, I don't know. Oh, there's the chili. All right, you put some chili in there. Now I want to talk a little bit about the uh, sugar and the gulp down factor. When you put sugar. Like for example, if you eat like sugarless peanut butter, it's gonna stay stuck in your mouth. But peanut butter with sugar, when you eat it, it like it gulps down. It just eats easier. The taste stays on you less longer in your mouth, and you get sick of it less. It sounds stupid, but if you, if you read up on it, that's that's why they use sugar for it. So that's the salt I put. It looks like a lot, but it's not a lot. It's just a regular table salt salt dispenser, and there's not a lot that comes out of there. That's that's a lot of that's a lot of sauce for very little salt. Like I said, you don't like good cooking does not require a lot of salt. Usually, the tastiness of the other things should compensate. You know, salt is too much too much of anything, but too much salt is generally I think not good for you. So uh, yeah. So that's what it looks like. It looks uh, it looks in bad shape, but it isn't. Now what I'm gonna do here, and this is optional, but I really recommend it if you can up the budget a bit. You dump a good amount of olive oil in there. If you can dump some olive oil in there, I'm telling you, you're so far ahead of the game. And you don't have to worry, you can put quite a bit. All right, and that looks pretty good. Olive oil usually floats at the top and it doesn't quite mix with the tomato paste as much. So it, it kind of like, I don't know, it's it's just right. It's just right for spaghetti sauce. I really recommend that you use olive oil. Okay. So we're gonna it's been there slightly over 30 minutes and I'm gonna we're gonna see how it tastes. Alright? Alright, so what you need is a spoon. You put your spoon in cold water, because if you don't, when you taste it, you're gonna look like this guy. This guy looks like an idiot, all right? So, let's do this, poof. That's freaking great. It's delicious. That's delicious. It's perfect. So I'm going to leave you off with some beautiful music and the sauce. <laughs>